the smart home has tons of promise. Coffee makers that turn themselves on in the morning, garage doors that open when they sense you getting close, lights that come on when you open the door, soft music that just starts playing on the stereo. But the reality is still quite a bit different than the promise. Sure, you can pay tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars for a fully automated smart home, or you can get a cheaper custom installation from Comcast or AT&T. But these days, it's all about the DIY smart home. You choose which devices you want to bring home, and there are about a million of those devices either out now or coming out soon. There are light bulbs, garage door openers, door locks, speaker systems, appliances. There are even smart sprinklers, smart air conditioners, smart ceiling fans. Yes, really. And how are you supposed to control all these devices? With a separate app for each one. That's obviously not going to work. So several companies are now creating hubs that let you connect and control all your different devices. Companies like Revolve, SmartThings, iControl, and even Lowe's, which has developed the Iris Hub and app and only sells devices that work with the hub. That's one way to keep things simple. Once you get back home though, everything is a lot less simple and put together than it is in the store. The biggest problem with all these smart home devices is that they all have different ways of communicating with each other and with your home network. There are all these different wireless communication protocols and none of them is a standard yet. So it's almost like all these devices speak a different language. The most common ways are Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and Z-Wave. So then all the hubs have to speak those three languages and a few more on top of that. So Revolve, for example, speaks Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, and Insteon, but not Zigbee. And then SmartThings speaks Zigbee and Z-Wave and Wi-Fi, but not Insteon. You kind of see where I'm going here? You keeping up? And now Apple is getting into the game. It's announced that it's going to encourage people to start developing devices that can work with iPhones, iPads, and even Siri. But Apple did not say whether it plans to create its own language or use one that already exists. I mean, yeah, when you get it all working and you can turn off three light bulbs with one click or you can see at a glance if you left your keys in the car, it's kind of neat. But it is not for the faint of heart, no matter how easy it looks in the store. Just make sure you keep your receipts. <laughs>